this is a beautiful moment for Keisha. She's deserving. She sounded great. She looked great and all of these different things. I really want to point your attention to the fact that there is this overwhelming feeling for me that really highlights the difference in the connection between success and mental health. I've been invested in Keisha's story since the beginning, right? Which is what I think is what makes her a little bit more relatable to most people. But you know that she's gone through a lot from the mama, from the childhood, from the husband down to AB. And there is something that's not quite right, or at least for me, I don't know if y'all picking up on it, but when she's, you know, rolling around town, prancing and pooching with Huncho and the on again, off again, the weird things, the text, the, the tweets and all of this, like, it's just something not quite right. And I feel like as a collective, we kind of seen that with Sky Jackson when she came out with her, with her baby dad and everything like this, like, girl, she was so successful. She had so much money. And although they are different, she's a child celebrity, you know, Keisha had a rough childhood. Rah. It's very similar in the sense that we automatically assume that because you have money and you have access that you got your mental together and this is why i want to highlight to you sister regular regular straggler like us we still need to do the work and doing the work is going to look different for everybody right it's not a one size fits all but keisha to me seems like somebody who kind of skipped a couple of steps right she had the rough childhood she got thrown into you know stardom and she had all of these different like dynamics and things to kind of navigate as probably the the sole breadwinner of her family and multiple families and so so here we see her as I don't want to say I'll just say an aging star and I'm saying that with the most respect but you know we see her kind of getting dragged down to the Twitter down everywhere with this with this man and I feel like Usher was giving her a moment to for her to recognize like sister we love you look at what you did remember who you are and because you have access to money and wealth and a, a rapper who's 24 year whatever whatever doesn't mean that you are all the way put together the way she stood on that stage the way she kind of took it in the way that usher literally ushered in a moment for her to see and visualize you are who you think you are to me is an indication that she needs to kind of sit back and heal the things that's within her that's maybe allowing her to continue in these repeated relationship cycles. Anytime that we see Keisha Cole talking about being in a relationship girl, we automatically like, oh my God, here she go. Here she go, y'all. That's because her success and her wealth and everything like this has not caught up to her mental development. And I'm I'm saying that with the utmost, because I'm saying it like from for from an average standpoint, from the regular person who worked the nine to five girl, like you can really achieve a certain level of, su of success in your career, but still be very underdeveloped in your personal development, okay, in your, in your inner workings. And I feel like Keisha Cole, unfortunately, is a product of that. And because she has the money and the access and the resources, like, girl, go ahead and get you one of them sessions. You know what I mean? Because somebody call up that lady, uh, uh, what's her name? Brian. Somebody call, because y'all ain't around over. We got, we got Brian out. Somebody call her up because sister is in need of some real deep healing. And I'm not just talking about financially. And shout out to us for actually allowing that moment and doing that because there's no telling when she'd be able to go to an arena with the amount of people that uh, Usher would kind of bring in and really kind of be loved up on. That was really cool to see.